Hey, it's me, Renee, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how I installed my jumbo twists, or as I like to call them, dookie twists. My mother hates when I say that word, <laughs> but that's what they are to me. All right, so let's get into it. The items I'll be using today are six packs of the Easy Tex Janet Collection hair, 84 inches. Yes. 84 inches my DIY whip shea butter also my DIY hair growth oil and I'll leave the link down below for both of these videos eco styler olive oil gel and tresemme extra hold mousse so the hair I'm going to be using is 84 inches. Yes, you heard me correct. 84 inches. And the hair was provided by Janet's collection. And it says that the hair is antibacterial and anti-itch. Water resistant. It's extremely lightweight. And it looks really natural. Also, it's already pre-stretched. Which, this is, I don't know why it took me so long to try some pre-stretched hair. But this really cut down the time of me installing my hair. When you have to uh, stretch the hair at the end to make sure it's not that blunt look. It really saved time. I didn't know that it really would save some time. But, let's see how long this hair is. I must stand, I don't think this is even going to show you. I'll just do a body shot later but oh let me tell you this hair is the best I don't even know if I can even um use any other type of hair to install braids or twists or anything I have to open the package so okay and the color I got is 1b and 30 so it was like blown on the end like a little ombre open This hair feels so good. To me, it mimics my natural hair. After I blow dry it, it feels like, it feels so good. And usually when I braid my hair, my cuticles and fingers be all jacked up and hurting and bleeding. My neck, my skin peel. But with this, I didn't have that issue. Because this hair, I did not cut my fingers up. So... Yes, this is uh, the Janet Collection, their new Easy Text pre stretch hair. So I would definitely highly recommend this. And I use six packs of hair to achieve this. And also, this is my first time actually trying twists. And I surprised myself. I think I did a pretty good job. For some reason, my, my fingers didn't want to cooperate when I tried before because you got to twist the hair one way, twist it the other way. I just didn't want to listen. But I'm going to show you how I installed my twist. First, I'll be using my DIY Whip Shea Butter. Make sure my hair is hydrated while I have this protective style in. Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. Then you're going to split the section into two. Alright. So you're going to grab your hair. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. All my twists are different sizes, so it didn't make a difference to me. And also, like I said, the hair is already pre-stretched, so I didn't have to do anything to the end. All right, so now make sure the hair is lined up right. There we go. So just lay it flat. 
So you take this hair and you twist it under. First section, you twisted it under. Under. Then you take this section. This is my first time actually twisting at my root to start a twist. I usually start with a braid and then branch it off or switch it into a twist. So just bear with me. I think I did pretty good for this being my first time. And keep twisting both pieces of hair all the way down to the end. I'm adding gel to my natural hair so it can be smooth and also so it can stick to the um, synthetic hair as well. hours to do these twists initially I wanted around 20 just jumbo twists so on this side of my head my twists are a lot bigger than on the other side so as I was uh, doing the parts bigger I was like it's starting to look a little thin I didn't want my hair to look thin the twist to be so thin so I started making the parts a little thinner making well making the parts smaller and not using as much hair so it's fine that I have different size twists. I wanted it to look um, like natural, organic. I didn't want it to look so uniform anyway. And let me show you the parts. So I didn't even see how the back of my head looks. So I guess y'all gonna see it first. So how I part the back of my head, like I stated before, I don't look. I just use my fingers at this part. I don't really care. But for the front. job for this to be my first time ever trying uh, dookie twist, jumbo twist, Senegalese twist, whatever you want to call them. This is my first time trying them and it came out pretty good. I just knew they were going to unravel. That's why I double, triple knotted them at the end but so far so good. No unraveling and I really like this hair. <laughs> questions comments leave them down below i'll make sure to answer them and as always thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye